love software development, and I also love artificial intelligence. And so I'm really excited to be able to show you kind of my first look into GitHub Copilot chat, which is the next generation of GitHub's Copilot functionality. So here I am in Visual Studio 2022, and I do apologize for the light theme. I've been doing some screenshots for <laughs> books and stuff, uh, but I have some code here. And let me just embiggen this for us a little bit. But this code has some issues and I might look at this code and say, well, how could I improve this? Well, as a seasoned developer, I have some ideas, but if I didn't, or if I was having a bad day, I could just select some code and then I could right click and I could say, hey, I wanna ask Copilot about this. How can I improve this code? It's gonna go out and it's gonna chat with uh, uh, its service and it's gonna give me back an answer. And so here's that answer in my lower right. It says, uh, one way to improve this is to change this to an auto property. Uh, and it has a nice little, what is an auto property? How do I, could, how could I further optimize this code? I think this is great. So I can copy this code. I can go in here and I can delete it and I can paste it. And of course I would run my tests because I'm not just going to refactor my code without testing it. Um, but I could do this and this is really, really helpful. Okay, but this is not all that uh, GitHub Copilot can do. So let's say I am maybe confused about this line of code here. Well, I can say, what does this line even do? And it gives me a little bit more details about that. Uh, let's say I wanted to ask it for some documentation. This method isn't documented. What would be a good XML comment for this method? And I'm not advocating that you actually go out and do this in the real world with your production code, but you know, if you're feeling suitably lazy, it just generated some nice documentation for me. And I can paste this sucker in here and let's just read this. And you know, this looks uh, somewhat reasonable for the uh, method that I built here. So very cool. And you can see if I hover over it, I get the full documentation there. How about this? How can I test this method using X unit? And hopefully it gives me some X unit tests. I have some already for this, but if I didn't, it might give me a nice little starting point for it. Let's see, there we go. It gives me a good uh, namespace and everything. Um, it actually <laughs> builds out a mock for the, the date time service, which I didn't even consider for this one. Um, and then it does some basic things. Now I'm not sure it's actually using that mock. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, there we are. Uh, but it generated uh, some things for me. So uh, this is GitHub Copilot, It uh, sorry, GitHub Copilot chat. It's very, very new. It's still in preview right now. So you will need to apply. You will need to get approved for that. Uh, but this will be coming your way uh, and tools like it as well. Uh, so right now, GitHub Copilot chat is available inside of Visual Studio 2022 and also VS Code. Now, look for it to expand, look for other things like it to expand. But this is what we're talking about when we say that AI is going to be a tool that a human can use to interact with their source code. They can use it to generate new code. They can use it maybe even to refactor, document, uh, even test potentially their code not a replacement for the human brain, but it can help you if you're very busy and you're working with something simple or you can't remember how to do something very specific. I can't tell you the number of times I've needed to, you know, Google regular expressions or uh, certain things with Unity game development, for example. Um, again, not a replacement for human brain, but very intriguing possibilities. So I'm excited about it.